Hello, here we go. I'm playing around with my Hitachi oscilloscope. It's the V1565, which I acquired from eBay for $85, including shipping, uh, which I thought was a fantastic deal. This is a 100 megahertz um, oscilloscope with digital cursor readout, and it's a really nice um, oscilloscope. Um, more than I could bargain for as a hobbyist, uh, first time scope owner. Um, it's a really nice unit to be working with. The only problem was a little bit of damage, uh, missing a handle as you can see here and here. And it's a bit roughed up, you know, you can't tell, but there's a few scratches and so on and missing screws, but it works like a charm. It's really a beautiful scope. What I was using before was this Gabotronics, and I still like it. It's really small and compact, and as you can see, I have it running the um, frequency generator. And actually, it's a great little frequency generator to play around with. It's, um, I'm using it right now to actually test the scope out, and I'm just working through a number of different modes. And as you can see here, I've got sine. I can go to a square wave, and you can see it's a really beautiful square wave on that one and I can switch it over to using a um, a triangle wave as well and there's a triangle now you can go to the square and if I switch through the menus here on the Gabotronic unit I can actually change the duty cycle and as I increase the duty cycle you'll notice that more and more of the square is occupying at the high level and that's almost a hundred percent duty cycle so I can use pulses I can reduce it down to less and this is a great example of pulse width modulation if you're uh, lighting up LEDs out of a uh, Arduino or Raspberry Pi and you're wondering how that works this is a great example now I'm just gonna bring it back up to 50 percent there we go and move it back to our um, wave generator mode here on the Gabotronic go back to a wave type and switch back to sign our trusted favorite and so what we have here is um, if you look at the settings on the Gabotronic I have the uh, amplitude on this set to um, if I can just switch here I have my amplitude set to one volt it's very hard to see I can increase that to two volts I should be able to I believe increase it as you can see it's getting bigger on our display and here we're at looks like two volts right there that's a two volt signal and uh, using the cursor feature over here I can switch down to cursors and this is beautiful you can just slide up the cursor you can pick the bottom cursor slide it over and even you know there we go that's basically two volts I can shift it up and down but as you can see that's a two volt reading I've got this set to two volts and the other thing I can look at is how good my frequency response is so you can go back to the AWG setting here go to frequency and you'll notice that I have it set well you can't see it because it's really tight there but it says 1.655 hertz or kilohertz I should say if I go back to here and I switch over to this mode I've already played around with the cursors as you can see before but that's 1.655 hertz you can see I can set one um, unit there one uh, wave uh, cycle and it's exactly 1.655 I can display it either in milliseconds or in kilohertz and the beauty is I also have a frequency counter and it's counting it precisely at 1.655. Now if I go back here and I switch over to my frequency and I increase it, as you can see the waves tightening up and I'm actually going up to 2. Point, um, or maybe close to 3. I'm going to try to set it close to 3 here to see how accurate my frequency counter is. That is 3.012 kilohertz. And back on my Hitachi it's showing 3.011 kilohertz. So it's pretty darn close. But uh, yes, I, I love this thing. 
again I can switch over to the cursors and if I wanted to using these buttons I could set my waveguide I can um, adjust you know my frequency using this button here and again my cursors automatically update uh, here I'll go peak to peak there's 3.134 well that's close enough but you can see I can just go down and find out the exact frequency 3.011 and if I want I can dial that in and pretty much there's 3.012 and if I move both together you know you can see I'm pretty much bang on there so this is the Hitachi just a quick re re overview of it and my Gabotronics which is a nice little wave generator and it's a, its own uh, pretty nice scope in and of itself very very compact it has a few other things like a protocol sniffer uh, it's two channel unfortunately it only goes up into the audio range really as far as um, usability and it may I think the limit is maybe one or two megahertz at the most it's not really great for higher end stuff but you know this Hitachi which is quite a big beast uh, if you can find them on eBay or any scope for that matter usually for around uh, 50 to 100 dollars you can snag, snag yourself something quite nice that you can learn on and use for years to come so just want to thank you for this quick introduction and I'll uh, hopefully review a little more with the scope in the future. Thank you.